While there are many pieces to the COVID-19 puzzle, and I certainly cannot address them all, I would like to give you first some practical advice, then explain the science behind it, and lastly, relate it to a somewhat more philosophical argument. So, what to do in the context of the coronavirus to protect our health, apart from washing hands and self-isolating? I suggest we go back to basics, namely, water, air, sun and earth. These are basic resources, available freely from nature. As an aside, notice that even where these basic natural energy resources were not available until recently due to environmental pollution, the drastic measures we have been taking to minimize the spread of the coronavirus have actually allowed us to enjoy clearer waters, blue skies and fresher air, which Europeans can breathe from their balconies. Hi friends, for more update coronavirus please subscribe my channel. Now, let us look at how water, air, sun and earth might interact with your body, strengthen it, and help our immune system in these times of pandemic, but also in general. We all know that the body is mostly water, in fact, something like 99.2% of the human body is, should be water. We also know that babies are hydrated the most, while older people are the most dehydrated part of the population. And we know that as we age, we not only become progressively dehydrated but our immune system also declines. Note though that dehydration weaker immune system may not be a direct causal relationship, or at least not the only direct causal relationship playing out. Nevertheless, it is hard to overlook the robust correlation between hydration and immune system function. In fact, a similar correlation can be observed in the function of many other body parts and process. Thus, it is not a secret that dehydration often goes together with asthma, constipation, poor lymphatic drainage, migraines, chronic joint pain, fatigue, and so on. On the face of it, there is no doubt that hydration is perhaps the number one factor we need to take care of if we want to take care of our health. But you probably knew that already. What you may have not known, however, is that earth energy, oxygen and light help hydration on a cellular level. Without grounding through the earth, light from the sun and oxygen from the air, you can drink as much water as you want, and still remain dehydrated and perhaps bloated on the top of that. Hi friends, for more update coronavirus please subscribe my channel. Now, what is so special about grounding, oxygen and light such that it helps our cells absorb water? Simplistically, for the absorption to happen there has to be movement of the water in and out of the cell through the cell membrane. In other words, water needs to circulate. And it does so by separating itself into negative and positive charges. Where water touches cell membranes, it forms the so-called exclusion zone, or easy water, this is negatively charged water which excludes toxins and waste. The rest is positive. The negatively charged water enters the cells, and is able to do so because of the charge separation. Once inside the cell, the water starts to drive numerous biochemical reactions, thanks to the negative charge, including such that pertain to repair and regeneration. The positively charged water is excreted through exhalation, urination, sweat, etc. In a nutshell, the more charge separation occurs in the water in the body, and the more negatively charged water is being created, the more efficiently the body functions. Importantly, grounding earth energy, oxygen and light, especially the infrared spectrum which, by the way, is commonly blocked by glass, all contribute to the charge separation and the formation of easy water, i.e. negatively charger water, thus helping you stay hydrated and boosting your immune system function, among many other things. To conclude, back to basics is perhaps one of the infinitely many lessons we may be able to extract from the coronavirus crisis. In the context of apparent shortage of supplies and resources, masks, disinfectants, vitamin C, medical personnel, etc., nature is still here to offer us its infinite energy sources, water, air, sun and earth. So it is time to be with nature. Of course, those who have a backyard are way more fortunate than the ones stuck on the balconies but this in itself is an opportunity to re-evaluate the choices we have made and perhaps simplify life in order to achieve happiness. Thanks for watching.